So many times when bills end up on the political chopping block in Washington, D.C., the effects are felt far beyond the beltway. It's part of the reason why rural America is watching very closely right now over the fate of a popular energy bill. Far from the politics of Washington, D.C., there is a simplicity to life out here. And yet that simplicity often gets complicated once politicians get involved. If this gets scaled back, there will be a lot, a lot of lost economic development opportunity. That is Andy Olson from the Environmental Law and Policy Center. He was shocked when a popular rural energy program called REAP fell victim to Washington politics recently. At a time when so many of our rural communities are struggling, uh, that just doesn't make sense. REAP stands for Rural Energy for America program. It was created back in 2002 and helps farmers and small businesses get grants for energy saving projects. Andy Olson was one of its original architects. REAP provides rural economic development for communities across the country and in every state. Since 2021, REAP has leveraged more than $1.2 billion in public investment to help lower energy costs, creating more than $3.4 billion in renewable energy projects for rural America. Back in June, House Republicans, though, proposed slashing the program by nearly $500 million. It is disappointing to see um, REAP being treated as a political football when for so long it's been, you know, had bipartisan support. Many projects already in the works are in jeopardy if funding gets cut. Since 2019, the eastern shore of Maryland has received more than $270,000 in rural energy grants from REAP. Republican Representative Andy Harris represents the district and defended the cuts, telling Scripps News in a statement, quote, in a year of President Biden's $1.7 trillion deficit, programs like REAP should return to pre-pandemic funding levels. You're never going to get anything done unless people pay attention to you, especially when it comes to Washington, D.C. Jeff LeBenz Ho is with America's Rural Energy Coalition. Right now, the only thing that rural has that urban has any interest in is energy development. REAP's fate is not totally sealed, though. In early August, Representative Abigail Spanberger, a Democrat from Virginia, Representative David Valadeo, a Republican from California, and Senator Tina Smith, a Democrat from Minnesota, reintroduced a bipartisan version of the bill, raising some funding while raising certain grant limits. You really want to build up places where there are, where there's bipartisan interest in renewables and in clean energy. In a statement to Scripps News, Representative Valadeo vowed to support the program to help rural small businesses and farmers lower energy costs. It's very important for our, our rural communities to have these investments in agriculture and in rural small business. Waves of uncertainty for a popular energy program with politicians ultimately deciding its fate. Chris Conti, Scripps News, Churchill, Maryland.